Fiesta Black! Are you Tosa? I mean, Tonga. You move baby. So, what does uh, chi, chi, Chigubu, Chibang, the song you did? Chibang Goof. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Chigubu is a drum. Like oh, moro, moroba, moroba. Um, yeah, and she come, she bango for means it hits hard, like uh -huh. siabet, like it hits. Oh, so what's the song about the, the drum? The song is about a lot, a lot of nothing and a lot of everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what man. Do you mean by that? Like that song is so weird, dude. I I don't know how to break down that song. What do you know? What do you want to know about that song? Uh, just what it means. Let's start there. Um, what did it mean for you? Yeah, yeah. Like you heard the beat and you were like, I'm, I'm gonna say Chukupu Chibongo. Like what was the thought process? Because it's catchy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. And you know what's funny about that song? Oh, what, what it is about that song? Uh, I wrote it when I was like 19, when I was still in high school. Oh, wow. Oh. Holy. I'm, I'm, I'm old enough for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm 32, I'm 32. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damn, that's okay. <laughs> 10 years ago. You lie. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. No way. Yeah. Has it been that long? Yeah. It's been that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been that long. So, so did Ganyani hit you up for that song? What happened? No, I, I, I was working with UTV. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend called TV, a mutual friend that I had met Vele through the journey. You know, if you want to do music, you're not just going to wake up one day and you're doing music. For sure. You're going to have to go through certain platforms and you're going to have to meet different people. And it's, it's just a journey on its own. You're going to have to sleep in dodgy studios. You did that? Of course. Sleep in dodgy studios? Of course. As what? a lady. Of no one course. Touched you. They wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> no one touched you in the studio. <laughs> yeah, um, they, they wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I touched two. Yeah. That, that's, 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 that was all. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you touch Kanyani's studio? I put a boy in Kanyani's studio and he didn't like that. Whoa, what do you mean? Wait, ah, you break that down. Hi. Whoa. You put a boy. Guys, I got into so much. Katlatela, Katlatela. Where are we at with this interview, guys? Everything is moving so fast. They were rocking you in Ganyani studio. Kaiwani! <laughs> <laughs> or not? <laughs> <laughs> they were beating your drum. For real. But it was my guy. It was my guy. I'm not going to mention his name. Yeah. Because oh, I was famous. He, I get quite relevant. Hey. And I, oh. he, he's never been to the podcast. Oh, okay. yeah, and yeah, I am here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he will never get here. Hey, what do they call it in English? You got the liver, eh? Yeah. 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 So did he find out? It was so awkward. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to hear the story? Yeah, let's hear. So we go to, I think it was Botswana or Namibia or Malawi or Ten, because I traveled a lot with Ganyani, right? Mm. Nothing sexual at all. He was always a very, he was a father figure from day one. So some asshole in the studio decided to tell Danny that when he was not around, I had a boy coming over. So I remember we went to, I think it was Botswana, one of the few. And then he was so professional to a point where we went and we performed. Everything was fine. Yeah. On the way back at the airport, he's like, Nagambe. I'm like, Master. You call him Master? Yeah, Master G. Give Master G. Oh, yes. Oh. Hey, KG, I'm thinking Master KG. Oh, you feel like a master? Like, oh. I worship oh. you. Master G. Now. Eh? <laughs> you should watch your Master G. Ganyani. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. No, he's a good man, of course. He's a I didn't god. Know. No, he, he dropped, like, albums when I thought I was still dropping <laughs> music. <laughs> Well, I thought I was doing oi, 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 oi. <laughs> yeah, I was dropping compilations. And that's when I was downloading music and looking like, I want to do this one day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you're on the way back, yes. And then we're at the airport, and he's like, Maro, how did I dress on? I'm like, 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 and then that was it? Yeah, that was it. Jeez, what a boring story, man. I ah, I like... don't know. <laughs> 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 And how are you Ganyani now? How are you guys? Now? Yeah, man. We good. Mm. We good. Uh, we fine. I, we, we, we not the way that I, I, I want us to be. But we just where we at, you know. And I think it's fine. That's okay. 
Yeah, what? Did you guys go through some turbulence? Yeah, what way do you want to be with him? What happened? Dude. That you don't, you're not the way you, you want to be with him. I, I, I... If I, if I go there with this, I haven't, I haven't made the money that I feel like I should have made from Shugubu. Because that's know. a big song. Shugubu, Shongo! My nigga, Shugubu was trending two weeks ago on TikTok. Whoa! Whoa! And, 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 and this, Shit. Is, this is like 10 years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think the, the main reason, one of the reasons I'm here right now is I saw this shit trending like 10 years later, two weeks ago, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> You're not trending. And, and I'm sitting at home, and I'm like, hey, maybe I'm still that girl, you know? Mm. You still in Kuku? Yeah. Oh, that's a... A uh, figure of speech. No, because was wrong. No, you literally say them cuckoo. Give me the orange fam. No way, it's fiesta. No way, fiesta no way. black. Am I, am I that hot? Am I that is? Rona. Shakes are very hot, though. So. <laughs> no, guys. Orange fam. Orange fam. Rona. I was born in the second. Wait, for real? No, like, on, 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 on for real. Like, for real, for real. Um, am going to my maga. And I didn't think that was going to be the reason why I'm here to talk about all of this. What did you want to talk about? Anything that you want to talk about. That's what yeah, you want to talk about. You want to talk about your journey. You had a massive hit song. But and you guys you, are not asking you... me questions. I feel like I'm just running my mouth like I do all the time. And I'm just talking and, and fine. talking. That's fine. That's fine. Like that's that. your story. Yeah. Yeah. You are letting your story out. Like, if you thought maybe we want to talk and then nothing about you, real stuff comes out. You just told us some something real that alarmed all of us. Like, Honestly, oh, oh, yeah, that's your story. That's that's your truth. You're not really. We're a part but how of do you guys truth. find that so? Like, why are you guys alarmed by something like that? Like, I I haven't released the music. When was the last time you heard of me performing at an event or something like that? True. So you why haven't... why are you alarmed that you look Orange Farm? Because obviously I'm not relevant. I'm not making money. I stay in Hillbro. Go so guy. I'm not alarmed. Go guy. Go guy. Hillbro. Go guy. On Pretoria Street, the, the, the only street I feel safe in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. Pretoria Street. Like, look, I stand on top of the McDonald's. The only place where I feel comfortable in. I don't need to go too far. There's food upstairs. Food upstairs. Because when they come for you, they have to start at the McDonald's first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you know? So it's not about where you stay. It's about, like, you had a massive song. And naturally, we all natural, think. The trajectory. And also... Not that you, you would have made millions from that song, yeah. but you would have made enough. At least one meter, yeah, mm. One meter would be oh, enough. Almost gigs alone, like five, half a million. Yeah. And that's that's just underestimating, like yeah. the gigs, and you know, because you can get can charge twenty k for gigs and get four gigs a mm. weekend when you're hot, and that's how many gigs a month. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 push you to just get a. House nyane kukasi, you know. When so it's not about where you stay; it's about how much you've done and where you stay. Yeah. You know, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I'm curious when, to know the also. Sorry. Sorry. Just to then, what kind of contract did you have then? That's the thing. I had a contract that I don't even understand up until oh, today. Not again. Why? Whoa, are we back here? No, guys, it's not contract. back to that. Don't forget, this is no. ten years ago. Oh, true though. Oh, yes, it's yes. just like. Yes, true. This is it wasn't 10 years podcast, ago. This information wasn't really out there. Out yet. there. Yeah. It's burped in the mic, sorry. No, it's right. We're content. Like, yeah. we burp all the time. This is 10 right. years ago, guys. And, you know, the one, the, the one moment in particular where I feel like I should have, I don't know, maybe caused a scene was when we were literally in the boardroom and talking about splits. And, 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 and who gets what, and who, 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 who gets what percentage, who's the author, and who's the... I feel like that moment in particular is one that was very crucial for me that I knew nothing about, because in that moment is when I signed away everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the meeting. Where was this meeting? Which boardroom is this? It was a boardroom, a very big boardroom. At Kanyanis? Penduga Kanyanis or a big major? A no. major. Okay. A major. That you, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so what did so you sign? What did you sign? How I, old were you? I, I, I was twenty. I was twenty-two. Okay. Okay. I was twenty-two, and at the time, I didn't know that as an author, when you write the song, you are entitled to fifty percent. Because I wrote that song on my own. Literally, because the, there's mm. two makeups of a song: the lyrics, the beat, and that's composer. 50/50. Exactly. He's a big. I has a big like. <laughs> his music publishing, so he knows. Yeah. You, if there's two people in the song, it's Two elements. 
if I could yes. rewind to that day, 50-50. if I could rewind to that day and have someone next to me who 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 understands what the fuck I'm getting myself into, and someone who could have spoken knowledge and taught me better and shown me better, I wouldn't be. I think I'd still be here, but I wouldn't be where I am. But isn't that person Master G? Who was in the room? Yes. Who was in the room when you, you in that boardroom? Hey, and guys, I'm not going to talk too much. Ah, We're a podcast. <laughs> we speak so much hey, about. It's... Now my big mouth has gotten me into trouble. Okay, Fiesta Black, I'm confused. Yeah. You, you said you want to come on the show. Yes. You got lots to talk about. Now you say you don't want to talk about anything. But What's then, going but on? But you're asking me like, who was there and what was happening? Who? Okay. Like, what do you want to talk about? The mic. Okay. The mic. Yes. Yes. What do you so want to talk about? So you're in the boardroom. Tell us. Like, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so I just want to talk about, guys, I've got new music coming. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, why'd everyone switch off? What? Yes, because people want to know what... Listen, people want to know what happened to you. You said you want to tell people what happened to you, what happened... Okay, guys, no okay, 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 sharp, okay, sharp. But we're trying to build the ground, the basis of that okay, story. Okay, sharp, okay, sharp. No feelings are tasty, and it's going to be what happened was in the boardroom, no? In the bo- <laughs> okay, in the boardroom. Like, in yes. the boardroom, the producer betra- uh, betrayed me. Who produced that song? TB, my, my, my TB Sintwani. TB, TB. TB. TB, and he's such an amazing producer. It's, but I'm, I'm saying TB because he's lost all respect from me personally. Okay, so he was in the room. The white guy from the major was in the room. Who else was in the room? Mm, I don't remember if Kanyani was there or not. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't want to lie. And then you signed, uh, he, he took the whole song, 100%. He took, he shared something with DB. He, who, who's he? Kanyani. Or who? Okay. Oh, so Kanyani was there. Yeah. Fine. Kanyani has, Kanyani has a cut from go, 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 go the writing and go the producing. Okay. Did Kanyani write any of the music? No. Oh, but he's got a song on the right. Even DB didn't write anything. I wrote everything. Yeah, that's mm. DB. <laughs> <laughs> He will not listen to anything. <laughs> oh, I love this. You always get it, right? Ah, I did it! I'm Steve. Okay. Yes. Okay, so... Steve. Yeah, man. After that, I, <laughs> a lot happened. What do you want to do? Oh, my goodness. So how much percentage... So the, the biggest song of your career, how much did you get? I'm sitting on, like, I think 30, 32% for, for the author. Now my worry, the my biggest shit. cry and is the fact that I shared that. Why am I sharing that? I wrote that song alone. So for the authorship, you got... Cause 33%. Percent, yes. Meaning that's 33% of the 50%. Yes. Because the, the music is 50%. The, the composer, I have nothing to do with that, I, I think. So you got 30% of 50%. Exactly. 50% that I'm entitled to. Yes. Fully. So you got 30% of half of what you need to get. What? No. As an author. I'm very it's slow. A, it's fine. Don't worry. I know you haven't reached music in... You're very slow. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying... I'm <laughs> saying... An author... I Correct me if I'm wrong. An author gets... <laughs> no, you've, you've said it. Why are you chuckling? Why are you chuckling? <laughs> an author gets 50% yeah. of the song. Yeah. Composer gets fifty percent. Fifty percent. Your thirty percent was a thirty percent of the song, or thirty percent of, of the, the author part, which is thirty percent of the fifty percent. Is what I'm asking. I, I can say it's it's thirty percent of the song because the song is like a hundred percent when you put it all together. Yes. But then I'm entitled to thirty percent, fifty percent of the song. I got thirty percent of the song. I'm entitled to fifty percent of the song as the author. But I only got 32. Oh, I, oh, get, 32. I, I get what you mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of the whole song. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So there's a, 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 a 18% Short shortfall. Author. Yeah, I feel like, Who I feel like, you know what? I feel like Ganyani and DB at the time were supposed to sort their they, 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 they things out prior to, to whatever. To me getting into studio, I had nothing to do. Like, Ganyani does not produce, guys. I've said this a oh. hundred times. For come to me. 
Ganyani does not produce. He produced it. I, 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 okay, let me let me say I I, I haven't. I have <laughs> come from him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as you were saying, as you were saying. Sorry to interject or disrupt you rudely, sorry, as you were saying. Personally, for none, I've never witnessed Kanyani produce a song. Oh. No. And he didn't, he definitely didn't produce Shikupu. Oh, yeah, you said TB, yes. Yeah, TB produced a song. TV. So I feel like if they had to, like, split percentages in terms of production and who composed what... They were supposed to sort each other out, go that other 50%, not mine. Mm, mm, 100%. Yes. Mine had nothing to do with them. Mm. So I don't understand. And it had a team well in many, many. No, but oh, Krakak or Rem, I was on a Krakak or Rem. He's praying for his sins. And God forgives. Mm. And God yes. forgives. Who's it, Rem? Yeah, the, 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 guy, the guy who oh, produced look. the song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following. <laughs> I'm trying. As you were, yes. Yeah, guys. So, no, guys, you know what? I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I'm talking about this like I'm happy about it and I'm talking about it and I'm drunk about it as always. But the Shigubu scenario, it really did. It, it hurt me a lot. Yeah, it's a big song, bro. And it's a song that was meant to catapult you into a different level. And with that said, the, 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 the 30% you got, mm. right, it's still a substantial amount of a big song. Mm -hmm. And you did gig, right? And that gigging is not, it's got nothing That's to do with the percentage That's another story. That, that is another story altogether. Because when you're talking what do you about. Mean? So, how are you gigging? Like, yeah, because how, how are you called, paid for gigs then? Yes. Who got you the gigs and what was the deal? Were you on a salary maybe? Then you don't get like you, you don't even get a share of the gig. Each guys, gig. guys. Or is it just guys, that guys, you get ten thousand per month? Are you guys gonna edit this or or lang embusha? Can I breathe? No, 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 we oh. we we we'll edit this. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll what edit. are we gonna edit? I'm so We're chatting to, to her about her story. Like, okay. I'm still trying to like process. Okay. And then okay. Now process. When you're ready, when you're ready, we'll move on. Like, process. When you're ready, we'll move okay, on. Okay. So, so now you want to know about the gigs? No. What? <laughs> listen. What? What I asked. What I'm asking is. <laughs> it's, it, it's not like. Look. What I'm asking is. Already we've established that you were ripped off as far as the composition, the the the, the authorship rights, right? Which is fifty percent of of the song. You got paid 32% of that. How right? does that make you feel when me telling you this, how does that make you feel? Before you ask me another question. That's horrible. It's an injustice. I, I, I just said it now. You got cheated of 18% of your amount. That's horrible. Mm. And we've shared our sentiment. I'm asking now that, okay, you got the 30% sharp, but also what a lot of artists capitalize from is the gigging. How was the gigging income for you mm. when you had got the biggest song in the country? Mm. Okay, when, when, when we started out, when I used to gig with Master, right? Because obviously, I guess we used to gig together before we, we had our, our fight. Oh, okay. After the fighting, obviously, I went my separate way. And there was no way I was not going to capitalize on that. Understand? Of course. Are you yeah. hearing me? You've built a name, yes. So, so while I was still yeah, under Ganyan Entertainment, we we traveled a lot, right? And I would do like maybe seven gigs a weekend. Like I went to Botswana. Yeah. I, I I would go, like I traveled a lot. I was in Botswana. Up until this day, I don't recall me having a set booking fee for myself personally, for me myself and I, where I can say, I gig this much. You feel me? Yeah. Can we get some tissues, man? Because they have tissues. We don't have tissues. What tissues here? Oh. 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 Oh.
Take your time. Sure, this really hits home, ne? Bro, can like, yo. So, yeah. While I'm in this moment and I'm feeling like this, um, can I just say thank you to my friends Te, who made it possible for me to be here today, and who paid everything from the makeup to the hair, from getting me from Val to here, and Ubering for me. I love you, dog. Mustaf. So sure. Jesus, man. Okay. <clears throat> Do you need a moment? No, I'm good. Well, take your time. Like I thought, I wanted to be here. You don't want to no, be no, here? No, I do want to be here. I thought I was ready. <laughs> You're not ready? I feel I am. I, it's a bit of both. Yeah. I'm definitely ready, though. So, yeah. Um, right now... <laughs> my friends are like, fix your hair! <laughs> the side. Can we laugh now, eh? Because eh? <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the sadness, she won't move. <laughs> hey, the, hey, the sadness, the hey. road used to be sad. You yeah, it's all. We all was like, I don't know how to act, dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the sadness, she won't move. I don't know if I should touch her, hug her. Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, my instincts is just hug, yeah. you know, embrace, and we're here. Yeah. We're here. It's, it's all good. But listen, man, space. Yeah. listen, listen, you're here, and I think it would be an injustice for you to leave here without uh, telling your story, as painful as it is, you know? Because mm. there might be another Fiesta Black in Orange Farm somewhere. Yes. And, and I, yes. Think, I think if you don't want to talk about it, I mean, you can always come back. You're more than welcome. It's cool. Yeah. I definitely want to talk about but it. Just, just grab the mic. There. <laughs> I love the mic. Yeah. I definitely want to talk about it. It's just like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not good with words, man. I don't know how to talk. I know how to sing. I don't know how to talk. Mm. It's, 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 al it's always it's been my, 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 I think, my, my weakness. Yeah. Or one of my flops, I guess, more laughing. Yeah. Yeah. But what are you feeling? What's making you cry? Your like, truth. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's making me cry is the fact that I'm here, dog. Like, you don't understand. Like, you know, I, I was talking to my, to my mom yesterday, and I said to her, you know, lately, ne, I have this thing, like, this, 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 like, this, can I lay spirit this is thing without it? When I want to do something, I don't second guess myself no more. Sure. Mm. Like, I literally, if I feel like I want to inbox someone and ask for an interview, I, I do it right there and then. And I was telling my mom, I was like, it works for me. It's working for me. You know? And it's, it's hard for me coming out of that shell because. I'm coming from a point where I didn't even want to see people. Whoa. I didn't want to socialize. I didn't want to leave my room. I didn't want to open my curtains. I didn't want to eat. I just, I didn't want to do nothing. And now I'm here and there's like all these lights and cameras and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm supposed to carry on and just be normal. It's, it's a bit overwhelming. So pardon me if I break down. No, that's fine, man. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you're in a very, very dark place. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> yes. That the lights make you cry. Does that talk? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't want to lie. I've, I've, I've met... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's low. Like, to me... I no, listen. To me... <laughs> <laughs> to me, like, to me, to me, it made Shivangovu. It's like literally one of the biggest songs if you count down from like the past 15 years, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, contenders of song of the year when it dropped. You know what I mean? So, to me, it's like you should be used to these the lights, the cameras, and everything. It's like you, 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 you're the goose that laid the golden egg. You laid this hit, but was never shone into the spotlight. Like, I know the song is big. Everybody knows the song is big. But to be honest, 100% of the guys that don't know the face of the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean. But, like, you should have been in the lights as much as it's oak, but you should have been in them a while ago. Mm. 
So, so with the gigs, how was it? Like, no, what was man, the arrangement? Hey, 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 oh, 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 wait, 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 yeah, yo, oh, oh, sorry, man. Let us speak. He's the interview master. <laughs> sorry, speak. my bad. I'm the banter guy. Yeah. As you say, yes. Yeah. Um. So he wants to know about the the gigs. <laughs> no, not the gigs. No, no. We're, 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 ask, yeah, we're asking you in a very dark place. Mm. Like, what was going on? Oh, was yeah, like. Mm. Mm. Was it depression? Because you know, that's a very... You know what? I don't know if it was depression. Like, um, and not personally for myself. I, I don't know if it was depression because I've never been to any... Parking, uh, a, a professional. I've, yeah. I haven't been diagnosed with depression or whatnot. Sure. I don't know what the hell it was I was going through yeah. that I continue to go through. I feel like these days it's a little bit better though. Sure, sure. You know? But I can't say it was depression. I, I, I don't know, man. I can't self-diagnose myself. All I know is that I'm a fighter, though. Yeah. How did you overcome it? Hey, dude. I don't even know how I overcame it. Mm. Um, Were you drinking, substance abuse? Oh, I definitely drank. But the drinking wasn't helping it in any way, so I don't think it helped me overcome it. It just made it worse, how I overcame it and how I... I, I, I I fed it uh, to totally different things. Yeah. You know, um, but I definitely drank a lot. Um, yeah, man, there was a point where I was drinking myself to death, bro. Damn. Like, yo, 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 yo. I got, I got arrested in Botswana, dog. Mm. I got arrested in Botswana. And that's when I was like, hee. Where are you getting arrested? I was eight and I was out there smoking drugs and getting high and, and drinking and just living it up. And I overstayed and I got arrested. So you had gone for a gig and then you ended up staying there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. Is my ally still okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're still looking good, good, right? Feel, just good, just good. I feel like it's here. I feel like it's here. No, I got you. At least I see you. I'm looking at you. I, I feel like he... No. What drugs were you doing, bro? Ah. Uh, oh, I feel like this part is going to break my mama's heart because she's going to watch this. It's a journey. It's a, it's a truth. So she wasn't aware of your substance abuse? No, she, she, she knew that I had a drinking problem. Oh, OK. Oh, the, the drugs. Yeah. She didn't know it affected Oh, you're talking like hard drugs? Yeah. Like cocaine oh, and stuff? Yeah. Wow. Dad, I, I, I found oh. myself, you know, you know, Jeez. you know, um, I woke up one morning and I was in a, a studio. There was a back room studio. And I couldn't recall how I got there. But they were playing a song that I'd recorded the night before. Wow. And the only reason I felt like I, I belonged there was just because of that song. Like, I could hear my voice. And I was levitating, dude. Like, I was gone. Mm. And I was like, so much could have happened to me yeah. right here, right now, yeah, yeah. that I couldn't afford off or I wasn't going to be aware of. Yeah. And, man, I, 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 like, I, I need to fix myself. And that's when I... Hey, introverts. Get car insurance from Naked without talking to anyone on the phone.